everybody, my name is Steph Koza and today I am reviewing I, Tanya. I, Tanya is directed by Craig Gillespie and it is the story of Tanya Harding, a competitive figure skater, and her struggle of rising to the top and plummeting back down to the bottom. <laughs> because of a particular incident that occurred in 1994 that I'm sure all of you know of because it was all over the news for months. But essentially, Tanya Harding is this very unconventional figure skater. She doesn't really represent what you would think of a competitive figure skater would be. She's kind of a redneck. She's a little bit rough around the edges. She speaks her mind. She's an open book. And some people liked her for that, but most people didn't. Margot Robbie plays Tanya and she plays her perfectly. I could not think of a more perfect person to play her. Sebastian Stan plays her stupid redneck husband Jeff Galuli, and Alison Janae plays her mother and my god she is like my favorite character in this movie. She is just awful. So awful. Like you totally feel for Tanya knowing that this woman was her mother but her performance is just so great that you kind of love her, like you just love to hate her. It was really, really well done. This movie is kind of like a documentary of sorts or like a mockumentary. They essentially recreated a bunch of interviews with all of these people and almost word for word, like scene for scene, mimicked these interviews to really show us what these people are like. And it was done so well, I love that. And in a way, it kind of reminded me of The Big Short in a few ways. The format was very similar and I love The Big Short, so I clearly loved this movie even more. There are a lot of moments where there will be an interview or a voiceover happening and then a character will just break the fourth wall and start talking to the camera. But it's done in this really cool way that doesn't feel forced. It feels very natural when that happens. It was just a very well balanced film and I really appreciated it. But this movie is so compelling. Like I laughed, I cried. It's really well written. The dialogue and the interactions between these people is so interesting to watch. Really, really well written, really well done, really well performed, beautifully shot. Watching her skate and hearing the sound of her skates sliding against the ice was all just the visuals, the audio, everything mixed together in this beautiful kind of artistic way. The story itself is honestly heartbreaking. It really victimizes Tanya Harding and Margot Robbie's performance really makes you feel what Tanya was feeling, like a lot. Like there was one scene in particular that really just hit hit me hard, like I, I cried. I will admit it, I cried. But the way that it portrays Tanya in this victimized way shows a really interesting perspective considering most people think of her as this abusive redneck with a complex. But it's this really powerful story about truth and lies and how manipulative people can be and how that can really affect a person. Every person is portrayed amazingly, beautiful, fantastic performances from literally the entire cast. And it really just does a great job of bringing this entire story to life and bringing it to light and showing you that maybe not everything is what you thought it was. I just think it shows a really interesting perspective and I felt very empowered by the end of it. It was very heartbreaking, very compelling, but very empowering in a weird kind of way. And it felt kind of like a veil was lifted on her story and just the world in general. It just kind of opens your mind to a lot of different things. And for that, I'm going to give I, Tanya a 4.5 out of 5. Honestly, I found very little problems with this movie. I would say maybe it dragged a little bit. It was a little bit slow at times. But honestly, aside from that, I loved everything about this film. I thought it was a fantastic movie. I would watch it a million more times. I would highly recommend it to anyone. But let me know if you guys saw I, Tanya. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. I am Steph Koza. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.